Hypixel Hiring Spree and Hytale's NFT, what you should know. Hello and welcome back to Hytale Truffle. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Embark on a journey of adventure and creativity. Hytale combines the scope of a sandbox with the depth of a role-playing game, immersing players in a procedurally generated world where teetering towers and deep dungeons promise rich rewards. Hytale supports everything from block-by-block -block constructions, embark on a journey of adventure and creativity. Hytale combines the scope of a sandbox with the depth of a role-playing game, immersing players in a procedurally generated world where teetering towers and deep dungeons promise rich rewards. Hytale supports everything from block-by-block -block constructions to scripting and minigame creations, delivering using easy-to-use and powerful tools. As you traverse each generated landscape, you'll piece together the history of the world through handcrafted adventure scenarios. You might encounter a mage's tower overrun with monsters, descend into an underground cavern, or take on a colossal boss monster. With a wide variety of scenarios available at launch, no two adventures will be the same. Hytale supports many different playstyles. Whether you think of yourself as a settler, adventurer, or craftsperson, you'll have plenty to do as you advance through the story. Best of all, the adventure mode is fully playable in co-op. Gather a party of friends and combine your skills to leave a mark on the world together. So for now, move on to more exciting news. Because it seems Hypixel is indeed on a bit of a hiring spree lately, posting far more frequently on places like LinkedIn. Going back to January 5th, there were 10 tech-related roles being hired for. By January 19, only 5 remained. They hired 5 senior software engineers covering anti-cheat, the engine, gameplay, networking, and physics. They even hired a manager that has worked for years on both Microsoft and Minecraft products. This now puts Hypixel Studios at almost 100 members strong. If not already, they're with contractors, previous members, and staff who are about to start. They are building up and making progress. With the global situations from 2020 settling, I imagine far more of the seats at the office will be filled, including no doubt a brand new doggy bed for the new resident team Pet Peanut. We saw this image posted recently, and in the background you can even see a few knitted seedlings. That's not all. Even more roles have been going up in February, with three designs positions just last week mentioning experiences that bring the world of Orbis to life, world-class multiplayer gameplay, reward systems, and marketplaces. As the year starts up again, we of course get into convention seasons as gamers, developers, YouTubers, and everyone in between meet up to showcase their latest projects. We know a few team members from the Hytale team will be attending DICE, a video game networking convention in Las Vegas, which could allow the team to discover more talent. We even have the upcoming Insomnia Gaming Festival before summer. It traditionally had a big Minecraft presence, and Hypixel themselves had booths there. In fact, this is the conventions where many creators first got to see a Hytale prototype back in 2017. Could they make an appearance there this year? While I don't think we'll see any official presence like a booth, stage show, or any reveals of things, I imagine they'd still be in the mind frame of fine experienced professionals mode. Beside Hytale, it seems some members at the office also got up to something on the side. Thomas Frick, art director of the game, tweeting out that he had participated in the Global Game Jam alongside concept artist, game developer, developer, audio director, and musicians from Hytale. You can feel the Hypixel spirit all over this project, called Mouse Care. You try to cheer up the owner of a house. Simple concept, but executed amazingly. I'll leave a link in the descriptions for you to check it out. It's a really cute little experience. Some of those who worked on it even gave the Quebec statuses a traditional high five while at the office. That's the spirit. If you missed it, prior to the Riot launcher has now officially updated and the banner showing the Quebec amongst other characters from the variety of Riot own titles. Before getting into something cool, I wanted to provide an update for those who watched and contributed towards the Hytale Thangmas 2021 stream. The $100 contributor art piece is currently being worked on with everyone's avatar, and I actually have a video of the 3D printed Trork model and Quebec coin, which community member Halken has been hard at work on, and those will be arriving to 10 $250 donors in the next few months. That's all for today, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing videos from us.